Celebrities have benefited from artificial enhancement for years and now we can too. It's key in this age when our online persona is arguably more important than the reality. The days of, you know, that bare, fresh face, no retouching are, are kind of behind us. I think we're all moving into an era that it's so easy to do. I found some guinea pigs in our newsroom. My buddy Michael didn't get much sleep last night. No biggie. There you go. Happy. Ha! Before, after. It's great. Work it, work it. Josh before, Josh after. And Brandy. Well, I'm not even going to mess with perfection. I'm working with portrait professionals right here, but there's now a rash of enhancement apps. PimpleEraser.com can deal with Mount St. Helens erupting on your chin. PickTreat.com will give you a quick zhuzh with one click. But there are pitfalls. You know, especially if you're into online dating, that's not a good thing to do. Because you're going to show up to meet somebody and not look like that picture. And you're going to see someone's face just fall. A quick trawl of awkwardfamilyphotos.com shows we don't always know our own best side. And get too enthusiastic with your new primping tools, then the reality will come as a crushing disappointment. For Good Morning America, Nick Watt, ABC News, Los Angeles. Not at all, Nick.